Hi, I'm on my way to meet Andy, who's just bought a Stornoway 18 like Kate Louise, only his is gaff rigged, not a lug sail. So it should be interesting to compare the two. And he's building a Welshford whaler. Can't wait to see that. I hope you enjoy the video. This is Andy's Welshford Whaler that he's been building. So how many years have you been building it, Andy? Oh, probably one and a half, two years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A joy? A joy at times, but also, I was just saying, it's 10% carpentry and 90% sanding. In yeah. Awkward spaces. But it's quite, a, it's, it's, it's designed for the owner builder. It's a Welshford design, so you build from the inside out as much as possible. And the whaler is big compared to a navigator. It is big. Yeah, so it's six meters or 6.1 actually, it turned out to be. From, yeah. From end to end, and then there's a bowsprit and a boom can. Wow. Extend that a little bit. When do you think it'll be finished? Maybe another year to fully finish. Yeah? yeah. Like, yeah, I'd say. Oh, I'll be, I'll be coming back to see the progress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come along. Yeah. Why did you choose a Welshford whaler? Um, so some friends had given me uh, I chipped in a whole bunch of friends for a birthday present for my 40th and I so I want to build a boat that could fit as many of them as possible in one trip and um, and would be nice and secure too for my parents yeah um, and stuff so um, yeah this is this is a good one. side decks and high freeboards so yeah it's, it's good for a crowd but also it'd be great for cruising and I'll probably end up doing a little a little bolt on um, cutty at the front and some canvas that yeah. rolls off that yeah this um, is Fantastic. And and the really depressing thing is that you're going up to Mile Lakes next week and I can't. Yeah, but well, there'll be more trips in the future. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I think the guys would love to see this boat. <laughs> well, this one's a way off. <laughs> I think I'll, one more plank and I'll be above the waterline, so right. we'll go for a test float maybe. <laughs> so tell me about your mate Alex. Alex is, he's he's currently um, fitting out his his little sporting racing dinghy there. The Pacer. Yeah, the Pacer, ready for, for some dinghy cruising. So you guys are going to come and join Sydney Raiding, come raiding with us? Yeah, you might see us fly past sometimes. <laughs> we'll give you some bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I have to say, it's really nice that uh, there are some younger people coming, because everyone <laughs> seems to think, oh, they're all fuddy-duddies, you know, but... <laughs> We're not really, you well, know. We're funny daddies, we're just maybe a bit younger. Yeah, we're yeah, young yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Tell me, you, you've got a bit of experience um, renovating big ships. Uh, a little bit, yeah, yeah. I was overseas for almost two years, doing uh, working on a, a ship over there in Germany. What was that called? Uh, Avon Tour, Timber, Timber Coast. If you look up Timber Coast, they'll, that'll come up. And was that a clipper type? Uh, it was a schooner, two-masted schooner, steel hull. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they use, use that for cargo? Yeah, yeah, it's just a sail cargo vessel. So they're, they're taking uh, cargo to and from the Caribbean. Wow. Um, and then a few sort of smaller trips around Europe. Yeah. And where's it sailing now? Is it sailing? Uh, now it's in, uh, you could look up on Marine Tracker to see exactly where it is. Well, I don't mean exactly. <laughs> I mean, that. I think it's it's um, home ports in Germany, I think. Oh, and okay. In Bremen or Hamburg, probably. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere over there. Alex is a prawn star. <laughs> you might not have realised this, but... I didn't know that either. <laughs> What's out there on the internet? <laughs> We're going to look at your Stornoway, so you just bought a Stornoway recently. Yeah, so that was really to tide me over um, and have something to remind me of why I'm working on this. Yeah. So this is Andy's Stornoway 18 that he's recently purchased. And guess what? He got it for six grand. This is an absolute bargain. It's got brass fittings on it, it looks amazing, and it came with a putt-putt, and the uh, trailer is worth about four grand, so I think he got an absolute bargain. And as you can see, this 2005 Stornoway 18 is absolutely immaculate, and that's thanks to Richard and Jenny Legg, who took on this boat as a restoration project after it had become neglected. They spent 10 years stripping everything, and the results now are amazing. 
Traditionally, Stornoway 18s are a lug sail yawl, but this one had been adapted to take a different rig, and also it had an inboard putt-putt. So you can see there was a little putt-putt here, and the drive shaft going through the floor. Andy sold the putt-putt, uh, and he's thinking about putting an electric genge in there, connected to the drive shaft. So that's the exhaust output for the putt-putt when it had one. Stornoway 18s are designed by Derek Ellard, and they come as a kid. Look at the hatch cover, amazing. Any new boat can throw up quite a few challenges when you're unfamiliar with it, especially when it comes to rigging. But Andy's had many years sailing mirror dinghies, and that definitely helps. What I didn't tell you before was this is the first time this boat has been rigged in 11 years. I thought it was a gaff rig, but it's really a gunter. We're not quite sure what the wind's gonna do today, so Andy's putting in a reef, and it's much easier on dry land before you hit the water, especially in a new boat. So it's a good opportunity to see some more examples of dinghy cruisers sent to me from all around the world. So we've got it rigged and we're about to launch. That is so easy compared watch, by, uh, that, that, watch those back watch watch the back pylons here. And as any new boat owner will tell you, your first sale can be interesting. Oh, what a spot. Look at this. Where would you rather be? Eh? <laughs> this is it. So we are off on the water. First time in 11 years, apparently, this boat's hit the water. And uh, it's probably only one or two knots. Yeah, but it's a real good one or two. <laughs> Uh, where's the wind coming from? <laughs> Not yeah. much of it, but it's coming from over there. Big thank you to Richard and Jenny Legg, who restored this boat over a 10 year period with some of their friends, and um, and now we can enjoy it today. Yeah. I look forward to taking them out one day in it. Yeah, because it is a beautiful boat. This part of the Hawkesbury is quite shallow, but luckily Andy's got a lot of local knowledge about sandbanks. See where that crab pot is? Yeah. That, that's a bank. Okay, so we're oh. here. Oh, right. Okay. Luckily, whoop, there we go. Yeah, well, okay, I think we'll jive. Driving. <laughs> well, two, three, two, one. <laughs> I reckon just steer right up, we can just go to a rig. And if you're wondering where we're sailing, it's on the Hawkesbury River near Spencer. The wind today is a bit fickle. It's only a few knots and it's going all over the place. Well, should we use this chance to turn around? Yeah, Are we in control? We're in control. Of course we're in control. But just aim back at that point or we'll okay. bank. Okay. Coming around, here we go. 
Like, we should have wind, right? Like, we should have water surface, but... It's a good thing about sailing, you can always blame the wind. Yeah, yeah. even though it's an athlete. How badly you're reading the wind, it's a problem. <laughs> We had a great little sail on the Hawkesbury. We managed not to run aground, but it is quite narrow in some spots. I think Andy's got a few things he'd like to change, but that's half the fun, figuring out on a new boat what you want it to do. So Andy, how do you feel after your first sail on this boat? Oh, fantastic. I can't wait to get out into some open water. Yeah. And uh, with a bit less tidal and, and some more consistent wind. And you're going up to Mile Lakes next week? Yeah, I think we'll get it up there. Now now we've had this test sail. Make sure you take lots of stills and send me some. Yeah, we'll do for sure. Thanks to Andy and Alex for a great day on the Hawkesbury. And thanks for watching Sailing Kate Louise. I'll see you somewhere on the water next time. <laughs>